Hey guys, it's me Erin, and today we are doing another back to school video. So school just started. My first year of school was a week ago, and it makes me really, really sad. But I thought I would lighten the mood and do some back to school videos. So I haven't decided yet, but I'm either going to be doing two videos or this is going to be combined into one. So the first part is going to be what's in my backpack, and the second part is some DIY stuff that you guys can do. So I will figure that out later. And yeah, so today our video is a what's in my backpack video. So this is my backpack. Oh, and it's really, really heavy. But this is what it looks like. And we're just going to get right started into the video. So stay tuned. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I kind of got really tanned from camp. So just, yeah, I got tanned. I have the worst tank top and spandex tan line because I went to a volleyball camp. So we were outside and it was just, it was just really bad. So I'm going to wear sleeves and stuff to cover up that tank top tan line anyways this is my backpack it is a tna bag so if you guys don't know what that is you can get that from maritzia i think it's an all canadian brand but i honestly love this brand you guys have heard me say a bunch of stuff about this brand before and up here it says t and a and i just love it how it's rainbow so you guys can see right there then at the bottom here there is a pouch that's also rainbow and i've had this backpack since grade nine so it's starting to get kind of old and i'm in grade 11 right now and then on the side there's another rainbow pouch and on this side there's a pouch as well so let's get started on what's actually in my bag starting at the top of my bag i just have a little hand sanitizer pouch thing and this one is in the scent ice cream dream and i just think this is really really cute and it's really helpful for like during the school time when I want to eat a snack but I just don't have like a washroom to wash my hands I'll put some of this on it so this is my little hand sanitizer I think it's super duper cute moving on we're going to be going into the front side of my pouch and I'm actually just kind of discovering this out myself because I haven't really cleaned out my bag but what I have is this EOS lip balm, and I think it's really, really cute. I love having a lip balm in my backpack, and this is in the coconut scent. And I honestly love the smell of this. It smells so good, so yeah. Since my school goes from JK to grade 12, our lunches are divided up into three. So JK to grade 6 eat at noon, and then grade 7 and 8 eat at 11.30, and then we, senior school, high school, we eat at 1. So honestly, I get so hungry, so I just pack little snacks for myself. So this snack is the Sensations, and it's the bit and Bits and Bites one, and I honestly love eating these. They taste so good, and they just kind of make me less hungry in between periods and stuff. So I pack a snack in my bag. I have my student ID in there, so I'm not going to show you guys that because it has my school and everything. But it's just a card like this, and it says student, and our school doors and change rooms and everything are locked. You have to like put it against the sensor, and then it'll let you into the building. So this is my school key card. I also have my house key and sticky notes, which look really disgusting. Next, I'm going to be going into this pouch, and when I have a sport, I normally put my water bottle out here, and then we're going to open up this side of the bag. What I have in here are just two packs of Kleenexes just in case I have a runny nose or you just need Kleenex. I have two packs right here and I have more sticky notes because I think I had these for grade 9 or 10 when I had to annotate my books so I just kept them handy on this side. On this pouch normally I would have my phone in here but right now my dad is doing something with my phone and my computer like my Mac because we're trying to sync contacts and all that stuff so I don't have my phone in here but I also have my iPod so I recently just got a new iPod I actually just got one last night and I'm really excited about it I may be doing a what's on my iPod video once I figure everything out so comment that down below if you want me to do a what's on my iPod 5 video I have the pink one and I'm just really excited this is what my lock screen looks like oh I got two texts and it's 2:53 right now so in case you guys are wondering but I have my iPod here and I will also have my phone in this pouch just because I need my phone to call my mom at the end of the day and I just always have my phone on me when I have my backpack and now I can listen to music too so I have my iPod and my phone in here next I have tape and this is because last week I sprained both my fingers during volleyball camp so I had to tape it and then I went straight to basketball tryouts after so I just had tape handy in case I wanted to tape my finger so I have my school ID and I actually have them from like grade 6 onwards so that's my school ID so yeah this is my heart savers course that I completed so yeah those are my papers 
And next what I have is this charger and I really really love it. It's a portable charger. It can charge iPhones, iPods. I think it can even charge an iPad but not all the way because I just got like the smallest one because it was like expensive. So basically what you do is if your phone is out of batteries or if your iPod's out of batteries, you can just take this lid off and then it's like a portable charger. So you can just put that in and then it charges it. I'm pretty sure one and a half times. So you have enough in one to charge one full back to 100 if it was at zero and then maybe another 50% or so. So this is really handy when it comes to school when my phones run out of batteries. Or I actually brought this to camp because they didn't have plugs in the cabins so I could actually charge my phone and yeah. So I have these pink headphones and I normally plug these into my computer because we are all required to have Macs at my school because we're an Apple one-to-one -one school. So I normally plug these in when we need to do something or when we're allowed to listen to music when we do our work and stuff. So these are the headphones that I normally plug in. And I also have my USB stick. So this is just a USB stick that I have for school. It has all my school projects, all my assignments and everything. When I have to transfer things from my computer onto other people's computers. So yeah, this is my USB stick. So I have like a Toonie, I have a Looney, and I have a bunch of quarters and nickels and dimes. So I've got like $10 worth of change right now in my backpack. Last but not least, we're going to be opening this big pouch. And that is basically where all my stuff is. Normally what I would have in here is I would have my Mac and my laptop and everything. But that's downstairs when my dad is doing something with my phone and my contacts and everything. So I would have that. And I have my agenda. So this is actually not the agenda that you guys saw that I was making. It's because I made the video... And then I realized that agenda was a 2015 agenda and it didn't have the month September to December for 2014 and that's kind of important for the school year. So I returned it and I got this agenda and I'll be doing the exact same thing as I did before. So if you guys haven't seen that video already, you guys can click over here because I don't know if I'm going to put it before or after I post this one. So this is my agenda and our pencil case is just some um, pink, you know, because pink's my favorite color. Did you guys know? I don't know if you knew, but pink is my favorite color. So I just have a hard pencil case and inside is just all my like pencils and stuff. So yeah, I have like my sticky notes and I have like eraser and like just white out and all that normal stationary stuff so maybe i'll do one what's in my pencil case video sometime in the near future in case anyone is wondering if you comment this is tape i get that question all the time it's tape like i was saying before i actually don't use those headphones anymore because recently yesterday with my new ipod that i bought my family friend gave me a new pair of beats so I got these beads for free, so thank you so much for giving these to me. And they come in a little pouch like this, and they are the Solos by Dr. Dre. So I, it's kind of all tangled up. I bring these to school now because they're so much better than my other ones that I got. And this is what they look like. And they're pink, and they're limited edition, and they just make me so happy. Okay, I'm so happy I can say these are my beats. Next, I have this other pencil case. It's not actually a pencil case. What's inside is my, like, beauty necessities. So inside, I have another hand sanitizer, and I have, like, baby lips, and I have a... I actually have a mini hair straightener in here that I don't want to take out because it's going to get all tangled. But I have, like, little candies, like, fruit snacks, and... What else is in here? I have my Wonderstruck Taylor Swift hand lotion. I've got some headbands. And these are just like my necessities in case of an emergency. And on this side, we have this. And there's just my Juicy Couture perfume here. Some gum, some facial wipes, like, you know, the one that absorbs oil. In case my face gets needs it, I have bobby pins, hair tie, gum, dividers. Honestly, this is my, like emergency school pack so if you guys want me to do a video on what's actually fully inside this you guys can comment that below and there's actually not a single pencil or pen in here next in my bag i actually have the spanish book just because we're reading it in spanish i have no idea what it's about i haven't even started reading it yet but i just had spanish last period so this was what's in my backpack i have the spanish book and i have a sock i don't know why i have a sock but these are clean socks I don't know why I have a pair of socks in my bag. I have a textbook in my bag. It is this physics textbook. I am so confused about physics right now. I need help. Like, I don't understand physics. But I am starting the course, so this is the physics that we have to take in the textbook. And this is my physics homework that's due tomorrow. 
You guys looking at that? Ooh, ooh, physics, ooh, okay. So yeah, that's my physics textbook. And I normally would keep a couple of textbooks in here. And the last thing is this that I actually haven't shown you guys in my other video yet. But it's basically the same thing. Just took a folder that I got from Staples or something and I covered it in the duct tape. And then I just put a bunch of pictures of me and my friends. I printed them out and I cut them out. And then I just used some clear tape over it to make sure everything is sealed in. So it kind of looks like it's laminated, but it's really not. And yeah, so it's just a folder that I put and I have my schedule in. And then I just have lined paper or like loose papers I'm going to end up putting in here. So if you guys want to see, the folder looks like this. So in the front, there's just pictures of me and my friends, and in the back, there's some more pictures of me and my friends, and then on this side, it's just like on the top here, there's pictures of me and my friends again, and this is basically all, it's me and my friends, and at the bottom here, there's four quotes, which are my favorite quotes ever. So this one says, don't let the fear of striking out keep you from playing the game, and that was from a Cinderella story, and this one says, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take, which I think is 100% true. And this one is from We Bought a Zoo, and it says, All we need is 20 seconds of insane courage, and I promise you something good will come out of it. And the last quote is, When life gives you a hundred reasons to cry, show life a thousand reasons to smile. So this is my folder, and it makes me really inspirational, and makes me really happy about school. And yeah, so that is what's all in my backpack. So that is the end of this video. I hope you guys liked it. I have been highly requested to do what's in my backpack video, so here it is. And my camera's about to die in like 30 seconds, so I gotta hurry this outro. But honestly, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for 20,000 subscribers. I'm so like shocked and amazed. I never thought I could get 20,000. Um, I have made a Snapchat, so a lot of you guys wanted my Snapchat, my personal one, but I didn't give it out because, I don't know, I just don't want to give out my personal Snapchat or my personal Facebook that a lot of you guys have been asking. So, since I reached 20,000 subscribers, I made a Snapchat. So, what is my Snapchat you might want to ask? It is Flare for Hair 22 so right over here, Flare for Hair 22 right over here, Flare for Hair 22 You guys can Snapchat me all day, every day. I will be answering you guys, and I honestly love Snapchat. My Snapchat on my personal account high score is like 45,000, so I love Snapchatting, so I will be Snapchatting you guys. And yeah, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and give me a big old like right over here. And comment down below what other kinds of school videos you guys want me to do. I will be posting a DIY like folder thing soon, so stay tuned for that. So one last final announcement before I go, I will be in Washington, D.C. from September 9, which is the Tuesday, to September 12th, which is the Friday. So I don't know exactly where I'm going to be, but I will be in Washington DC so if any of you guys live in Washington say hi to me um, I will be at where like around central so where the White House is I don't really know all the details but I will be at the Smithsonian Museum a lot so yeah I am going on a school trip so if you guys want to come meet me and we can take pictures together um come to Washington DC yeah okay and yeah, so that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoy this. And don't forget to follow my Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, all that stuff will be in the description box below. And I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to tweet me suggestions at flareforhair22. And yeah, love you guys. Bye.